Hello folks, Matthew Peterson here, Senior Trainer at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the videos that we post. Uh, and if you've been here before and you've seen me before, well, welcome on back. Uh, and this is a new series that I'm starting. So the goal of this series is to focus on educators in the classroom. Uh, my former background was a math teacher for 16 years at a middle school. I taught 7th and 8th grade students, algebra, algebra 2, and geometry, and I loved it. I did it for 16 years, and the only reason I got out of that career field uh, was financial means. Uh, my wife is also a teacher. We had a son, and it, we just had to start making ends meet a little bit better. And I was fortunate enough to be, meet Brian Knight, who is the founder of our company, and he gave me an opportunity and a chance to uh, you know, expand my career and still get to teach and learn about the Microsoft Power Platform. Uh, and as a former teacher, I, you know, I didn't think there was anything else I could do with my education degree. I thought, I'm a teacher. That's all I can do. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. But there are other opportunities out there. So the, the goal of the series is not to get all the educators moving out of the classroom, uh, but it, it's kind of twofold to let you know that there are some upper other opportunities out there, but also for educators that want to learn how to use the Power Platform, how to inject these programs into your classroom. Uh, fortunately, as a teacher, we had access to the Power Platform. Unfortunately, we never had any training over it. So the only people that knew how to use these programs were someone who came in from this world and then stepped into education. Well, my, my idea here is I want to kind of uh, let you know that there are these great programs out there for you to use to hopefully transform your classroom. Now, for those of you going, Matt, this series is not going to be for me because I am not an educator. Uh, well, this is still a great series if you are new to the Power Platform. Uh, the only difference is my demonstrations that I'll be doing throughout this series, uh, building apps and flows and reports, are going to be a little bit more education-centered. So a few of the things that we'll be doing in this series is learning how to build a basic Canvas application. Uh, the idea of our Canvas application could be a two, few different ones. I'm not quite sure which one I want to do yet, whether it's going to be a check-in app that I made for my former school, uh, that allows teachers to check in students when they come to their club, uh, a practice, volunteering, tutoring, uh, so that the way the, the front office knows where everyone is located at any given time, kind of like Big Brother there. Um, also building out Power BI reports. You know, you get your data in from testing uh, and you might put it into an Excel sheet and you're like, well, what is this really telling me? Well, I want to show how Power BI can help you filter down into that data and see what things are hitting, uh, what students are doing well on those re on those tests, uh, what objectives are getting hit, which ones are not, and how easily that can be done through the use of Power BI. We're also going to be building out some Power Automate flows. As a teacher, there's a lot of routine daily tasks that you do throughout the week that take up a lot of your time, and wouldn't it be great to have a program just do that for you, whether it's sending out uh, email reminders to your parents about certain events that are coming up, uh, you want to put in schedules for here's when the algebra test is, updates to when your test grades have come in, uh, and a whole lot more that we can do with Power Automate inside of the education world. Uh, we'll also be building out a copilot. Uh, a copilot is a chatbot so that you know your students or your parents could go in and ask questions. So instead of getting those daily questions throughout your lesson, getting interrupted when you're trying to hit that mark, get that light bulb to go on, is there a way for us to have a chatbot for our students and parents to just go and ask the question and have the chatbot return that answer to them? Free up a little bit of your time from answering those same questions over and over again. And co-pilots can do a lot more than just answering frequently asked questions. We're going to learn how we can also have them kick off Power Automates for us and start to make our classroom transformed uh, and save us time and just make it a better experience. So we're going to have a lot of fun in this class. I'm also going to incorporate some OneNote into it, some Teams integration. Uh, so this is going to be a, a fairly long series. And again, if you are not an educator, but you're newer to the Power Platform, this is still going to be a great series. We're going to go over the basics of these different individual programs the things that you need to know, the things that you're going to use all the time with the program. Um, and for those of you that start off as an educator in here, you start to use these programs. You're like, you know what? I really like this stuff. Well, this is going to open up another career source for you, basically, if you would want to go uh, into the Power Platform world. 
So hopefully you're going to, uh, hopefully you're excited about the, the series that we're starting up here. Uh, I hope you enjoy the future videos that come out, but just wanted to let you know what I have on deck here for probably about the majority of the next year of 2024. So if you're excited, you want to learn about the Power Platform, you want to inject these things into your classroom, stay tuned for future episodes. Thanks so much, and I'll see you there.